Hey guys, welcome back to our PJ Trailer Safety Series. Today, we're focusing on how to safely maintain your PJ Rollster and your roll-off bin or deck. Unlike the other models that PJ produces, a Rollster or roll-off has a bin or deck that can be completely removed from the trailer frame. The added versatility of this feature comes with maintenance that is a bit different from your standard trailer. Let's start with the bin or deck. It is important to regularly inspect and grease all four rollers. This not only prolongs the life of the rollers, but it keeps loading and offloading safe and smooth. You'll want to regularly inspect and grease the bin hinges as well. Inspect all of the D-rings, especially the winch connection point D-ring. If it is compromised in any way, do not attempt to winch the bin or deck onto the trailer. Also, be sure to check the bin's tarp for tears and rips. If there is a significant tear that could compromise the tarp, talk to your dealer about purchasing a replacement. On the Rollster deck, take a look at the ramps and do a quick visual inspection to ensure that they're not damaged or warped. Before you roll on your bin or deck, be sure that the batteries for both the hydraulic pump and the winch are properly charged and connected. Remove any corrosion that could compromise safe operation. Check to be sure that each remote is functioning correctly. If there is noticeable fray or damage to the winch cable, do not operate the system. Also, be sure to check that the winch is properly cooled around the drum. The winch should come with the manual and manufacturer's suggested maintenance instructions. Before getting into more immersive maintenance, do a quick visual inspection of the coupler, safety chains, tires, wheels and axles, rollster frame, and the brake lights. Ensure that these are in working order each time before you operate the trailer. We have additional safety videos and a handy PDF checklist that can further walk you through the basics of a quick pre-haul inspection. When performing maintenance on the trailer and lift frame, be sure that the prop bar is securely in place. Also, remember to remove the bin or deck from the frame while working on the rollster. Look at the hydraulic lines. Be sure that no hydraulic fluid is leaking both during operation and while not in use. Also, be sure to check that none of the hydraulic hoses have loosened or fallen into a pinch point in the lift system. If there are issues or leaks, do not attempt to winch the bin or deck onto the frame and cease operation of the hydraulic system until the leak is fixed. Contact your dealer if you are unsure about repairing the issue yourself. Take a look at the rollers on the lift frame. Be sure that these are properly greased and clear of debris like small rocks, dirt, or mud. Check the pivot points on the frame. Be sure that these are also properly greased and lubricated. As a general rule, check these grease points about once a month. Approximately every 12,000 miles, check the brakes for scoring and wear and grease the gears of the drop leg jack. Our rollsters come in both gooseneck and bumper pull configurations. For more information on gooseneck coupler maintenance, check out the link in the description. If the electric components are functioning, the hydraulic lift system is free of leaks and cracks, and the pivot points are greased and clean, you're ready to roll on your rollster bin or deck. If there is a failure or an issue, don't be afraid to take it to your dealer for further maintenance and repair. It's always safer to ask a dumb question than to have an unsafe issue on the road or on the job site. For more information on PJ Trailer Safety, check out our safety video playlist. Stay tuned for more in our continuing trailer safety series, and as always, stay safe out there. Thanks, guys.